Columbus, Ohio. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and there's a thrilling atmosphere here tonight because the team that is home was on the road, and they got the split in the first two games away. Is there a caution for the home team in this one? Well, I think there is, Doc, because I think they accomplished their goal. Yes, you'd like to win the first two games on the road in a playoff series, but realistically, if you can come home 1-1, You've accomplished that goal. Now you have to reassess. Now you have the home ice and see if you can take advantage of winning one of those first two games on the road. The Blue Jackets have the momentum in this series now. They have their crowd behind them. The coaching staff will get the matchups they want, which will give them the opportunity to take a lead in this series. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. From a shutout win last game, he'll try to keep playoff momentum going with more zeros tonight. The error margin is slim at playoff time. It cost him last game, but it didn't cost him the start here tonight. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Say. And let's head down to ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Nothing was settled, Doc and Enzo, in those first two games. Both teams get a win. Now they'll look to see who can turn the series on its ear a little bit with a 2-1 series lead. Solid win of the draw. Back in his defensive end to get it. Columbus, in their own end, has possession. Puck is thrown to Atkinson. That one is pointed to him. He got a piece of that one. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Pitching it to Miller. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Tremendous hit. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. Tampa Bay is in control of the puck up the wing. He throws it there. Wonderful stop. Jones found the spot where he had his opponent in a vulnerable spot. Clean hit. Tampa Bay is quick on the draw. That went off someone. Loose puck. Solid defensive play. Sends to the point. He just flat out missed it. He's got that pass in the corner. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. Tampa Bay's got that face-off win. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. At least he protected his goaltender. Really quick crack. Pitching this one to Felino. Steps across that line. Shoots. Wow, what a glove save. And he holds on and stops playing. This guy's got some hardware. The former Vezina Trophy winner in 2013, given to the best goaltender in the entire National Hockey League. The man known as Bob, Sergei Bobrovsky. A little over four minutes played. Still knotted at zeros. Good face-off victory there. Gives it to the point. Dubinsky's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Tampa Bay's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Blue Jackets will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. This is a power play earned in a scoreless game. Their power play can now get them on the board and give them a lead. Outstanding point-blank save. 
fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Brings a shot. That one's deflected. And now it's directed to Declare. Columbus looks up from the wing. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Great save. Coburn's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Looking to Callahan. Tampa Bay is taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. Play stopped. Penalty coming. Power play done. Duclair is going to the box, and the call is tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Everybody has a man and an assignment. Four against four. Lots of space four on four. It always depends how aggressively the first team with the puck plays it, whether you're going to see much excitement or whether they'll be cautious and play it to a standoff. Save! And freezes play for the whistle. Good job on the draw. Tampa Bay is in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Couldn't get through. It's loose. Good job of clearing. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Trying to go to Killorn. Good grab again. Let's it go. That puck struck him in front. Tampa Bay's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Nice work done with the stick there. Has that point pass as well. What? It kicked low off the post and out. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Domingue is going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. The Blue Jackets win the draw. Perfect receipt of the pass. Wonderful block. Laid on to McDonough. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. The dump in and some new defensemen. Chip to Bjorkstrand. Let's it go. And a save. A shot. of players kicked out. Snapping a pass to Zarelli. Propelled to Zarelli. Glove save. Nice. A one-timer. No! Just missed the target on that shot. Great offensive job here. Means nothing if they don't score them. Heaves one. Great glove grab. Tampa Bay's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. They won that draw. Twist one. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Holds on and gets that whistle. Won that face off. Now what? A point hammer shot. Routine save. Just under eight minutes to go here in the first. We are deadlocked at zero. Solid face off win. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Bobrovsky's save here is one of the easier ones he's had tonight. A stick save that he can make all day.
The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Carries it on in from center. Tampa Bay is carrying it in their own end. Back and forth they go between the points. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Directing that one to Kucherov. Carries it up the side. Airborne to Girardi. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. Columbus moves on to the penalty box. They get a minor for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Tampa Bay's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. Pass. Got that pass in his own end. Passing one off now to Johnson. Moving it to Kalorn. to Savard. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. The Blue Jackets are assessed a minor penalty for delaying the game. That puck was shot out of play. If you shoot or flip the puck out of play and it doesn't touch the attacking team or the glass, you will receive a minor penalty for delay a game. Teams will play 5-1-3, punishing for the penalty killers, but if they kill it off a big lift. Couldn't retain possession. This 5-on-3 power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here. And they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Pass attempt to Kucherov. He takes that point pass. Stick to some. They clear the zone, and so now they can get that line change. On to Kucherov. Puck is thrown to Miller. And he gains the zone. A successful clear. And that puck deflected into the player's bench. Always pretty cool to see people get excited when the puck is shot into the bench and they know that they're maybe going to be able to get their hands on it. They're all waving around hoping somebody flips it to them just over the glass. Defensive zone win. That one slung back out, and so there's still some more time left on the power play. Tampa Bay's power play failed them this time, and they had plenty of time. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Save there. Score! Once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. Tampa Bay has been able to break the scoreless tie, but can they build on this? The Blue Jackets control from the faceoff. Good place to shoot from. Turned away with a stick. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Laid on to Dubois. Just missed the net with that one. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Playoffs are a whole different animal than the regular season. Some guys just fold under the pressure. Other guys rise. He's done a terrific job in these playoffs. Good offensive zone win. Using the point. He's got it. Fires. Hit the post with the shot. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Gates it into the zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Pitching it to Strawman.
20 minutes have come and gone. A rest for the players as we prepare for period number two. It's a 1-0 game. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to... Killorn's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Columbus hasn't had much time with the puck, and as a result, they're chasing the game. I'm sure the coach talked about the importance of puck possession going into the second period. And period two is underway. Pitching this one to Atkinson. Perfect pass! A wonderful shot answered quickly. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. The Blue Jackets prevailing on the faceoff. Hangs on to it in the corner. This is a tough one to work for. Puck picked up here. Flings it. That's a great save. Tampa Bay's winging it at neutral ice. Incredible skill in the attack. He lifts the stick and swipes it. Nice job. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Got that pass in his own end. The Blue Jackets with a neutral zone possession along the way. To point. Now it's directed to Johnson. Good pass off the boards. Outstanding work with the glove. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. A little under three minutes off the clock. It's a one-nothing game. That faceoff is one. Good intercept in his own end. Looking to Anderson. The Blue Jackets are at the wing in neutral ice. Picks it up back there. Brings it in for an attack. Slides it to the point. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Anderson's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. Tampa Bay's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The Blue Jackets' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Got a piece of that one. Lost possession there. Hedman's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. He was standing in the lane and got some of Whistle blown. Power play is history. Columbus has been handed a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Four players aside, and so we'll see what develops here. With both teams a man short, 
they get ready to face off here. The face off's key because if you can win it, you've got possession. It's really tough for the defending team to get it back quickly. Back to the point. That puck's loose because of the defense. Gains the blue line. Takes that pass from the other point man. Trying to go to Dubinsky. Snapping a pass to Zarelli. Quick wrister. Got it back out of the zone. Tampa Bay's power play has failed. They are perfect in an odd way. Moved up the side by Johnson. Directing that one to Venberg. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke jack. Great job in his own end with that interception. Oh, he just turned that puck over, guys, and that puck has to go forward 100% of the time when you're on the lead. And a save! And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Pretty easy stop. Once he's in the butterfly, he can slide side to side and control the rebound. Off win. That was a big hit. I wonder if that hit. Star! Well, the element of surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. And the goalie can only shake his head in dejection here. He thinks he's in perfect shape, but he drops his glove just a bit, and the shot beats him right up top. Tampa Bay's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. That puck is free. Went off somebody. Passing one off now to Kucherov. Gains that offensive line. Shoot. Save! He just stopped one of the best. Moving it to Savard. And he steps in. Chip to Savard. Great shooting lane. Great save at the edge of the crease. Now that's a solid save. Centers to Felino. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Skates out with it. Save. Knocked off the puck. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Wonderful stop. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. Just over eight minutes to go, second period. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. That puck came back to neutral ice, and so things will have to regroup. And thrown down to Panarin. Propelled to Hedman. Tampa Bay is in possession and moving up the wing. Callahan's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Shoots. What a reaction save. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Gets that one on a cross. To the point it comes. Skates it across the blue line. Rockets one. Great save. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go.
Face-off win here. And the pickup. Tampa Bay is setting up an offense from the wing. Corralled it again. Tried to clear, but failed. Great poke check. Columbus wheels it up the wing. Couldn't make it through, can't retain possession. Slid to Strawman. Tampa Bay's in the neutral zone along the wing. Takes that pass. Got that pass in his own end. Pass attempt to McDonough. Puck is thrown to Johnson. Driving in from no man's land. And angled to Nutabara. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. On to Sedlak. Sends it, and he missed it. Oh, they moved the puck quickly. He got into that one-timer, but he shot it wide in the net. And they are in. Terrific determination by Nash. Shoots one. The big pillows came in handy. Puck covered, whistle blown. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Nice face-off work. Tampa Bay's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Shoots! Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Shoots a good stick stop. Freezes play. Dominguez in position to use his stick here to make a save on a shot that doesn't challenge him that much. Tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Pitching it to Kucherov. And he dumps it in. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Stamkos. The Blue Jackets skated up on the side. On the outside, a shot. Saved there. The shooter didn't get too much on that. Not a very dangerous opportunity for the goalie to stop, but he went in the butterfly just to be sure. They won that draw. Hatchets won. Not on the net. Instead, it's won. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Time to look at the shots on goal. 23 for Columbus and 17 for Tampa Bay. McDonough's goal advanced this for his team from a one-goal lead to a two as we head to break. ...into the spectating area with enough force to cause injury. So please stay alert at all times when the game is in play.
two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Columbus has had some penalty trouble the first 40 minutes, but it hasn't hurt them. They're still in this game because of the great job by their penalty killers. Girardi's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Columbus is given a minor for tripping here. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Good, clean win. You're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Couldn't get through there. Tampa Bay's along the wing at center ice. He's got that point pass. Puck free, roadblock by Steven Stamkos. The Blue Jackets shifting gears back in their own end. That puck's loose. He couldn't get through the roadblock. A shot. Score! Outstanding job on the power play. This close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. Bobrovsky's in pretty good positioning here. He's just beaten by a better shot. Up into the glove side, he can't catch up to it. Tampa Bay's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. They've won the faceoff. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Tampa Bay's looking to head man up the wing. Right in front! And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Gains the zone. Goes back deep for it. Pitching this one to Felino. Laid on to Anderson. Smart recovery by Dan Girardi. Shoots one. And a save. To Felino. And now it's directed to Dubois. Right to the point. Read that play in his own end. Puck covered, whistle blown. Just a bit over four minutes have passed. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Solid clean win. Tampa Bay is gating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Around through the corner. Decides to head for the corner. Great take, dangerous area. Nearly grazed the iron on that. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. He covers and holds on. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Critical face-off win at that point. Decides he wants the corner. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Columbus carrying it up the wing. Shoots. Save. Terrific reaction to a scary shot. That's a solid face-off win. 
Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Steps in from the neutral zone. What a tremendous hit. Whoa, massive hit there, Doc. That is an enormous hit. Murray's position here allows him to deliver a devastating hit. Over seven minutes have transpired in the third. They've scored again, and so their lead in this contest is three goals. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Back on his stick. Looking to Bjorkstrand. It's dumped in. Dogged determination there by Coburn. Tampa Bay setting things up at center. Trying to go to Dubinsky. Snapping a pass to Bjorkstrand. Directing that one to Venberg. Picked up. Great glove hand. Tampa Bay's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Passing one off now to Coburn. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Pinned up against the glass right now. Out in front. Cranks a shot. Save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. Clean win on the draw. Advanced by this game. Scooped up by Hedman. Moving it to Paquette. Pass attempt to Hedman. Gives it over to the point. Tries to get it on net. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. One-time blast. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Buck is thrown to Dubinsky. Tampa Bay's play has put them in a spot here where they can look forward to two points if they can continue to protect this shutout. They have had an outstanding game. Good job on the draw. Sent that pass on ahead. Takes a shot. Can you say ping? Johnson's going to get nothing for that shot as it beats the goaltender, claims off the post, but they're so far in front, what does it really matter? Just a little under eight minutes still left in the third. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now goes to three. Can they make it four? Pitching it to Panarin. And he steps across the line. Fires a shot. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. Another face-off win. Chalk up one more. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Controlled through the middle. Got it in his own end. Tampa Bay's along the wing at center ice. Johnson's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Blue Jackets get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. Brings a shot. Outstanding save with a glove. They 
won that face off, trying to generate something. That play goes offside. Just a bit under six minutes to be played in the third. There have been three goals in this game. They've all come from one team. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Chip to Ernie. Just missed the net. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Pucks loose, denied by the roadblock. Not a hard hit, but a fact. The scrum continues at the glass. Pitching this one to Jenner. Tampa Bay's power play not as good this time as before. Couldn't get his way through. Propelled to Erne. And now it's directed to Miller. Has it in his own end. Looking to Dubinsky. Columbus finds its way through center. And in flight over the line. And he is reefed. Wierenski's not quit at all tonight. He flattens his man, trying to send a little bit of a message, I would say, to his own team, because they've had a pretty brutal night. Looks from the corner. Collected by Atkinson. Slid to Zarelli. Leads that charge into the zone. Tries to wade through it all. Has it picked up. Here's a one-timer. A long game, and the clock bleeds down to the final minute of regulation. Trying to go to Miller. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. Steals it in the attacking zone. Got his pad on a changing shot. Snapping a pass to Anderson. Stick handling up the wing. Nice work by Miller. And he dumps it in. Directing that one to Felino. The Blue Jackets wheel one ahead up the wing. That is up close and personal. He might have seen him at the last minute to absorb that hit. Good job with the neutral ice intercept. Oh, broke it up. Passing one off now to Anderson. Moving it to Wierenski. Terrific determination by Hedman. Nicely received at the point. Game three completed. And it's a 2-1 series. The tie is now broken. Will it be tied again next time? The tie has been broken. They obviously feel good about the win. Now the pressure is on their opponents to answer back in the next game. And as the tournament moves closer to its conclusion, we hope you'll anticipate the next games as much as we do. This one was fine for us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, and good night for all of us.